There are three trials. The first trial is the test of wits. The second trial is the test of friendship. I'll win that one. Pass these trials and the third trial, the test of strength. The final trial. First, you must pass the first two. The first two trials are in the trial rooms to the left and right of here. To learn about these trials, ask the trial monitor in the trial room. Good luck in the trials. <laughs> the test of friendship. Well met. This is the test of friendship. The road will open only to those who trust in each other and walk forward as one. Stand atop the glowing switch to be in. Oh my god. They, they just fall. God, I'm not coordinated enough. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, okay, so each joystick moves these guys, and I've got to somehow do this. Oh, my brain is like being fried by this. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so easy to fall off. How does, how does this do friendship? Oh Jesus, I panicked. <laughs> Ugh, I haven't been drinking it, thank God. I got a drink, but I'm not hitting that right now. Man, I'm trying to cut corners and I gotta stop. I just did it again. Oh my god, because I stood, I 
Oh, I was trying to get him to move and her to move. <laughs> I can't do that. I gotta wait until they've crossed. kind of nice if someone controlled the right thumbstick so I don't have to think about it. Oh my god, this is mind melting. <laughs> Dude, there's somebody out there that's ambidextrous that's done this and they've probably seen complaints about it and they're like, I didn't have a problem. I don't understand why people are struggling with this. So it's really mind bending is when they flip sides like that. My mind doesn't want to like. It, it doesn't like it. of the game. Oof. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I got it. Excellent. You have demonstrated the strength of bond between you and pass the test of friendship. I hereby present you with the proof of your achievement. You obtain proof of friendship. Stand together in the face of hardship that await. We believe in one another above all else. Do so and you will always prevail. We will. Thank you very much. I feel like I just put my brain on a rack <laughs> and stretched it. I don't know why that was so hard. But it was. Okay, now I'm gonna start drinking. Celebration sip. Test of wits. Okay, no way. Moment. This is the test of wits. The power of perception and reflection are the key to solving these puzzles. Show me the wisdom upon which your kind prides itself, child of man. Okay. Derpy, now's not the time. I'm trying to. Right and 
and sees an empty field. The dragon sees the warrior's sword. The bird is shown. Wait, do I not have a spell that's gonna do something like this? Because like I, I know I got a bunch of new spells. Pulse puppet string. Okay. Cast it again. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Okay, the dragon was a sword, right? Did I mix that up? The dragon sees the warrior sword, which he does. All the bird is shown the shield, right? The beast, meanwhile, looks to his right and sees an empty field. Okay, I gotta be careful. Oh, his writing. No, I messed up. I said look to his right, and I put him where he's looking to my right. Can't tell if it's locked in place. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know it was his right. That's a very specific part of the riddle that I just kind of glossed over. His right. They who lie above are one with he that lies below. The gateway will open up. This seems easy enough. So this piece is obviously this right here. I can't do it because this piece is in the way. You go here. You are here. You are over 
here, being blocked by this thing. What did I mess up? <laughs> I had one sip. Oh, okay. It's got to complete the picture as if. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. And I didn't see this. Tip number two. <laughs> the third trial. I'm gonna be like, I don't see it. <laughs> oh god, what is this? <laughs> the bird is bound to dragon and moon. And on a star he sits. To dragon and move. And on the start, he sits. Okay, there's only one place he can sit. Bird is there. Dragon's there. The beast links warrior, moon, and star. Trippy, do not give this away. Oh god. I was having fun until Trippy opened his mouth. Oh, wait, wait, wait. was it the warrior that- oh god, I already forgot the puzzle. <laughs> Thank you for posting that. <laughs> MK2. Oh, yeah, dude. That's gonna be... It's on my list of games to play. I don't know how far down it is, though. I think it's pretty high up. Actually, I don't know when this. I put Nino Kuni 2 on here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit higher on the list. I'm really enjoying this game. We'll go. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, I do not miss papers. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I hereby present you with proof of your achievement. Proof of wits. Awesome. Play <laughs> down <laughs> Keep your eyes and ears open, the knowledge you will gain will serve you well. It's not always brute force that wins the day, often the word is mightier than the deed. I understand. Thank you very much. Okay. I made it through wits. So now what's strength? Passed the first two tests. Not bad. Now we know you're good friends and you're not completely stupid <laughs> thanks dude trippy and we also know my powers of encouragement and support can work miracles hey you had nothing to do with it anyways oliver it's time final test what is it master sullivan ha huh, everyone knows that it's the test of strength stupid <laughs> this is the test of your combat ability you've guessed what you've had to do haven't you we're going to have to fight somebody, huh? Ooh, aren't you clever. Not just anyone. You're going to have to get your head beaten in. Okay. Oh, but I didn't want him to smash the place up, so I prepared a special place for you to fight him. Anyways, probably need a rest first because you're so small and weak. I'll be waiting here when you're ready. Yes, your honor. Dude, this guy's a jerk. Why don't we fight him? I want to fight him. <laughs> I'm about to fight Goku. Oh my god. We'd be here for three days. This is a Dragon Ball Z fight. And that would just be us charging up for the fight that we're about to go into. It's time for the test of strength. Are you wimps ready? I'd like to hear. Good luck in there. You'll need it. I won't. So where does the slash trail take place, Master Solomon? In my special secret place. Watch this. Door, door, up from the floor. Abracadabra. That's kind of cool. Amazing, he countered a door out of thin air. You have to go through it to get where... We do the test of strength. It's a little place called the Solosseum. Tidy, you ready for the final test, Ollie boy? We have to pass it. We just have to. I'm ready. Come on, you guys. Dope. Piccolo with Mojo Jojo. Right? All of a sudden, like, my third party member becomes a Powerpuff girl. <laughs> three more like seven that's true because <laughs> we're gonna have to do a flashback right of why we decided to fight trial. this looks a bit flipping serious <gasps> jeepers oliver look Ashura, final test of the Temple of Trials. Oh, this looks promising. Glad I started drinking before this. Okay. Let's see, can we sandblast him? No, no effect. Alright. Well, that's not so bad. Dude, yeah, we really need, like, a taunt spell. Oh, 
Holy boy, this BC here has got a big old shield protecting his back, and it better give him a wagon from the front. I reckon I already realized that. Thank you. Kind of late to the game, trippy. Psycho. Go wild. Healer back up. No. Alright, I'm gonna need like a Phoenix down a spell or something. Maybe I have something in my provisions that can pick people up. So I have blindness gun, strong coffee, iced coffee, sandwich. I do not. Okay. I have to remember to buy something. Um, wait, we have enough mana. Really easy to magic. Again. Dude, turn around. Charging his attack. Okay, now he's charging it. Just in time for me to miss. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna say that I did that counter completely on purpose. Okay, that one I did. Okay. Phoenix feathers? We won! It does look like a peacock tail. Yeah, apparently it's a shield. Adria, at first I was like, yeah, I'm gonna hit him from behind, you know, because like that's where you want to DPS most things, and then it started pinging off him, so I got him. Alright, cool. And everyone levels up. a page describing a Bashara. 
Huh, you passed the test of strength. <laughs> yeah, she she died early. You obtained a proof. Okay, so <laughs> Esther, we did it, Oliver. We did it. Yes, we did it. We sure did. That's the last trial. You passed them all. Oh, I got you a graduation present here. You received a page describing the bridge spell. Describing Broom Broom spell. New spells, thank you very much, Master Solomon. Tidy, they look proper useful to ones too. Or hurts they are, stupid. Wouldn't give them rubbish ones, would I? Anyways, it's time for the main event. My specialist subject familiars. I'm going to teach you the secret of creature taming. Creature taming? Ooh, that sounds interesting. Is this where we start capturing them in little balls? Huh. You're a bit annoying, but at least you're enthusiastic. Okay, first let's talk about serenading. What's serenading? I'm just about to tell you, aren't I, stupid? It's something you can't can't do without a special instrument for, for a start. An instrument? So that means... Yep, leave it to me, Oliver. I'd better give it give you it before we can carry on. Umbapa? Master. I've also been like Master. doing every side quest. I think that's helped me get through it. Here, take this. It's called the Heart Winning Heart. Wow, it's beautiful. So it's a harp. So it is a harp, even though it's very small. Okay. You obtained the Heart Winning Harp. It's not just beautiful, it's useful too. You can play it to tame creatures and make them your familiars. It's probably easier to show you than explain. You're quite slow after all. This guy's a jerk. Ugly harp. Yep. <laughs> I prepared three creatures for you to tame. Pick one you like the look of. Yes, Your Honor. You can tame creatures during battle. Try it out with these ones. Don't look so scared. They're my pets. They won't attack you. Oops. But how do I tame them? Well, every now and again, when you beat a creature, it will be so impressed, it will fall in love with you. <laughs> so you beat it into love? Okay. If that happens, Yucky Harps will appear above its head. Like this. He. Oh, that's sweet. Anyways, when you see the hearts, it's time for you to play a serenade. If you manage not to mess it up, the creature becomes tame and joins you as one of your familiars. That seems simple enough. Doesn't matter who beats a creature, it's still it can still go all gooey and girly and lovey-dovey. But only you can tame it. If you want a creature to join us, Esther has to play the song. I just said that, didn't I? Stop asking stupid questions and give it a try. So this is becoming like a dating simulator, right? <laughs> the duck. <laughs> Alright. Do we have to flip and pick? Can you give us the whole lot of them? The stingy old so and so? What's the matter? Spoiled for choice? Well, when we finish the moaning and groaning, just let me know which one you want to give your complete. give you completely for free. So we're going for the duck? <laughs> Ba, pa, pa, harp. <laughs> that stupid looking one's called Shonky Honker. It's got good defense and magical attack, and it can put enemies to sleep as well. It's a bit of an all rounder, I suppose. You should definitely choose that one over the other two, the rubbish. Boo hee hee. This one called a Bogley Boo. 
may have a stupid name, but it can scare the pants off people even worse than me. It packs a hefty punch and can learn some pretty nasty tricks too. You should definitely choose this one over the other two. Okay, you can't say that about every single one of them. Kiwi. This cute creature is called a Naiad, so they're, it's not very good at normal attacks, but it's got some decent magical ones, and it's a great healer, so it's helpful to have around. We already have a healer. You should definitely choose that one over the other two. They're rubbish. Okay, stop saying that to every single one of them. Ready, we might as well do it the same way as when you tame a creature in a battle. In case you've forgotten, that means you have to be the creature up and get Esther to play a serenade on her harp. And don't wet your pants, I've told them not to attack you so the wimps don't get scared and run away. Now to the battlefield. Stay calm now! Right then, Dada Rashad, are you ready? You're the only one who can use the harp. You better try it out, hadn't you? Okay. Right, listen. The three creatures here. You have to pick one to be your new familiar. You know how to tame a creature, don't you? First you have to beat it in battle. These ones are friends of mine, so I've told them not to fight back when you bash them. Well, come on. Beat up the creature that you want to be your new best friend. This is good life lessons for kids. This is how you make friends. Ugly Boo needs to check where his hands are. <laughs> Be in the submission. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's up on its feet again. Creatures do that sometimes when you beat them in battle. So those yucky pink hearts over its head, they mean you can tame it. If Esther is near a creature with hearts over its head, she can use her heart command. Then she can choose whether to play a serenade to tame it or let it go back into the wild. But if you don't choose quickly, it'll run off anyways. I've told the ones to run away because you're a beginner and you're probably rubbish. God, dude, this guy. You tamed the shonky honker. <laughs> I am a stranger, Adri. <laughs> but luckily, the internet parts us. And I feel safe. Unless you count insults, then I do not feel safe. Those still hurt. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. letters do I get? I get six, I get ten letters, and most of these MMA fighters have like 15 letter last names. Oh no, I can totally do this one. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, actually I needed that SH. So. I also didn't realize I could do lowercase. Just now. No, that's wrong. Just enough letters to do this.
There we go. Shink meat? Nope. <laughs> Shabinko. She's actually fighting probably about an hour from now. I just don't want to pay for the card tonight. I mean, there's some good fights in there, but I don't want to pay 65 bucks for this card. You sure you want to call Shonky Hunker Shabinko? Yes. Now you're familiar. The name's familiar because she's an MMA flyweight. Not too bad on the eyes either. We did it. We tamed a creature. Huh? Not bad for a first try, I suppose. <laughs> it's a scoot and a toot, but you accept. I'm glad you accept, Abby. Like I said, anyone can have a creature, but Esther has to play the song to tame it. So I have to work together. If you want to get more familiar, I know it's hard for selfish brats like you, but you'll just have to try. Yes, Master Solomon, we understand. You know, but Esther. Oh, and you can have three more familiars as well, ones you use in battle. What happens if we get all overexcited and tame more familiars than we've got room for? You'll have to speak to a little friend of mine. Look over there a second. We send him in the sewer. What a funny looking little thing. Is he a familiar too? Don't be stupid. That's the rep from the familiar retreat. We'll take any familiars you don't need off your hands and keep them safe back at the retreat. It looks like a sewage guy. So we throw him in the sewer and if we want him, we have to call this guy and we'll retrieve him from the sewer. Cool. Oh, there's useful. Looks like you keep busy then, uh, Esther. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to see what kinds of creatures there are out there to tame. You can find familiar retreat holes in every town you visit, and even in some dungeon places too. I think I've seen some in places we've already... Hang on, look, you're familiar ready to metamorphose. They evolve too? Blimey, I have to teach you about that as well, do I? You don't know anything. Fine. I'll teach you about metamorphosis. There's an extra IS in there. But give me a break first, will you? Explaining this is going to give me a face ache. Well, this is giving me a little headache too. So. Pro Gonzalez? Yeah. Wait, is that who I think it is? I might be mixing that up with somebody else. Oh yeah, I know who this is. Okay, your HP, okay. Let's see our progress. Great, it's time to teach you about metamorphosis. This is boring, so listen carefully. I'm not explaining it again. If you look, you can see your familiar wants to metamorphose. And for that one, you'll need one of these here. You obtained a sundrop. Is this some kind of treat? That's not just any old treat. Look, just try it, will you? I'm bored of talking. Give it to that mite you've got there. Feed it to him and the creature cage, you mean? Okay, here it goes. Okay. Allows you a sun sign familiar to metamorphosize into a second form. Okay, so I'm gonna need four different types. So it might turns into Bromite. Have Blades metamorphosize into a Mighty Might, yes. Oh, I thought he had more of a Mohawk than that. Okay. It just sticks up in the front. 
The number of different tricks blades can perform in battle increased by one. Nito, look at my familiar. That's metamorphosis. When a familiar gets big enough, you can feed it special treats to make it change into a new version. Metamorphosis. Got it. When familiar is metamorphosis. Metamorphose. They get stronger, look different, learn better tricks. They also get to gobble up more gems, meaning you can teach them even more tricks. A treat you need to feed to a familiar to make it metamorphosed depends on its sign, something you never would have worked out on your own. <laughs> oh, and here's another piece of priceless wisdom you don't deserve. When familiar metamorphose, they go back to level one. But that doesn't mean you're back to square one. Once you train them up, they'll much they'll be much more powerful than they were before. Whether you metamorphose your familiar or not is up to you. Some idiots prefer to stick with what they got. Do what you want, I don't care. Now, you don't need anything else explaining to you? You're fine with what I've told you? Yes, Master Solomon. Good, and explaining all that stuff. Anyway, if you want to hear all the boring details again, you can just ask that boring old telling stone you've got there. Did somebody say my name? Eek. It is as High Supremacy says. I can replicate his explanation in minute Minute details at any time you're choosing. You need only ask and... Boring. Ugh, you haven't changed. Anyways, now you know how it all works. You can get out there and tame loads of familiars and make them metamorphosis. Thank you very much, your honor. How? Oh, you're super dude. Right. Where to next, then? Can we go back to Alma Moon quickly? I want to see how my father is getting on. Sure, we can ask him about the Great Sages, too. Goodbye, Master Solomon. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. I mean it. Shut up and get lost. This is like the worst Professor Oak ever. Professor Oak was nice and inviting. This guy's an ass. <laughs> Dude, if I see anything rat-like that looks like a Pikachu, I will name it Pikachu, and it will be in my party forever. And I will not let it evolve. He's showing you the real world. The world is a tough place where everyone calls you an idiot. <laughs> What's that rumbling noise, holy boy? It isn't your stomach, is it? Uh, oh my goodness, look over there. Oh, volcano. We need you to go to the volcano, anyways. Snickers, that ain't good. Oh no, Old Smokey's erupting. Old Smokey? Volcano over to the west of Al Moon. Proper huge it is. I'm no scientist, but I reckon it's the reason the whole region is so nice and warm. Yeah, that's not how deserts work, but okay. But it shouldn't be erupting. There's a massive great big boulder blocking the crater to the top to stop that from happening. Jeepers, do you think it's come loose somehow? After all the hundreds of years, not without some serious encouragement, it hasn't. There's nothing in the old stories about it having been dislodged before. Then it's an unprecedented disaster we've got on our hands. Crikey, all the moon could be in danger. We have to go to Old Smokey. What? We have to put the boulder back and stop the volcano from erupting. You joker, ain't you? It's a hot as a flippin' flip up there, man. The desert by here is arctic by comparison. We burnt to cinders. But didn't you bring me here to save the world? We have to go. We have to save Alma Moon. He's right. We passed the trails, didn't we? We can do this. Why, you little... Little beauties. It's enough to make my grown fairy heart cry, seeing how far you've come. Alright. I'm game. Let's save the day. Onward to Old Smokey. Alright, let's go. Should we stop at Alma Moon first? I'm gonna stop there first. And we're gonna see if we can get more stuff. Um, the game gave me a bunch of tickets at the beginning.
Do I have to go back to that guy for familiar tickets? Hold on, I'll go back. Because I have tickets. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you for the heads up. I'm trying to only sip it, but it's so good that I could probably just drink it. Oh, hi, it's you. Missing me, aren't you? I bet you were. What are you screwing your face up like that? Have you got your hands on a familiar ticket or something? You can exchange them for super mega ultra rare familiars. I do. In fact, I have a bunch. Should I just do all my tickets now? Is there like any point in keeping them around? Oh my god. Charmander, <laughs> but I'm calling him Charizard for now because he can't change his name. Yep. All right. Right. Shiny Might. Yeah, I wouldn't call it anything else. We'll just call it that. I don't want to have to rename every single one of these. Now that I realize like, what I would have to do to actually go through all these UFC fighter names on all of these things, it would just take too long. And then there would be repeat names, and it would be a mess. So every once in a while I'll do it. <laughs> but I can rename some of them. Change this ticket for familiar? Yes. It's not a chocobo. It's a chocobo. Okay. But am I like. My question is am I collecting them? So I know I can keep up to like three on me. So I've got two in my reserve. I got these two. Oh, and you're definitely. Oh god, what happened to your face? Okay, I can do one more without sending them to the sewer.
Okay, noted. Grippy. See what you're saying. Alright, I'll probably dump one. This will probably be the one I dump too. Name's gonna be Griffles. Hmm. Yeah, Griffles is fine. I can't think of a good name. Okay, I see. Okay, let me throw Griffles in the sewer real quick. We can take up to 400 of them. Oh wait, no, is he saying that he's charging me? I just ate through that way too quick. Wow. Yeah, okay. So we can take up to 400. Here, take this bird. I don't care about him. That outfit. It's special. Okay. So let's do this. I am replacing you. No, I need to have him in the party because he's the only one that's not level 1 right now. Also... Wait, wait, wait. I think I saw that thing dance. Keep the bird. That bird's got vibes. I want to keep him around for a minute. Alright. Okay, he doesn't charge me. It was either 400 slots or like it was going to cost me, but yeah. Well, it's Griffle's fault that he's not as appealing as everybody else is. Some are shiny gold. He's just a griffin. So my question now is, is there a way I can keep track of them? Uh, they probably don't have any boost, but they look cool. And isn't that what really matters in a game? tickets, but they came with the game, so there we are.
So we kept his weapons. Awesome. He doesn't have any weapons. We need to get him some. We don't have any weapons either. Give you that for now. I wonder if the normal one sees the shiny one and knows he's about to be replaced by something that looks shinier than him. Like he knows because he, he doesn't have that chain of gold. Uh, I got the I got the duck looking one with the horn. Gift him. <laughs> 